This is Twit. I've got two different things here. This one is not mine, but it is the Valve Steam Deck, which ships with Linux on it, Arch Linux. It's customized a bit by Valve. Neat little device. Uh, I'm not going to do a full review. We don't have time for that. Other people on Twit have done it. Cool idea, though. And then the other thing that just came in is the HP Dev One, HP's laptop that shipped with, of all things, Pop OS on it. Um, oh. And the thing that I love oh. about the, the Dev One, so normally when you buy an OEM laptop, it's particularly when it comes with Windows and you want to keep Windows, it comes with so much bloatware on it. You know, uh, HP's uh, this service and that service, or you get it from Dell and Dell Support Assist and all of these different things. That HP laptop is just Pop OS. It is, from what I can tell, it is a vanilla install of Pop OS. Uh, with like, uh, I believe it, it asked for a terms of service agreement, which may also exist in Pop OS. It had one shortcut on the desktop and that was it. And it was just a shortcut to a web page. Um, beautiful experience as far as the Linux experience goes. Uh, but I find it real interesting that we have these two devices, very well done devices, kind of high profile devices, shipping with good Linux on them. Now there's some warts with the Steam Deck, of course, but that's... That has a lot to do with the, you, you kind of have two layers of translation going on there because you got to run everything in wine. And then you also have to run these games designed for mouse and keyboard on a, you know, on a tablet. But um, I find it real fascinating that, you know, here in the last couple of months, we've seen these two, like I said, really good devices shipping Linux. And uh, I don't know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to go off on the whole year of the Linux desktop thing, but it seems like we're maybe getting a little more mainstream. What do you guys think? A oh, decent price too. I mean, that just on the screen there. I mean, wow. I have a, you know, Dell does the the Ubuntu uh, develop. They have a name for it. I don't remember the name. And I have one of those, and it's shockingly, it's a shockingly good Linux experience out of the box as well. Mm -hmm. um, oh, are they all AMD? Is that the? Yes, uh, the, the the Dev One. It's eleven hundred dollars. It comes with the 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 Ryzen Seven Pro, the fifty eight fifty U, and sixteen gigs of RAM and a one terabyte SSD. Really pretty wow. decent specs. Yeah. Yeah, I mean for yeah, especially the SSD. That's a big SSD for that much money. I um yeah, it's cool. I, I think you know half the phones on the planet or more are now Linux. So maybe the year the desktop <laughs> yeah. happened, it's just two two yeah, years of Linux in the desktop. pocket. I don't know what we call that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> interesting to me that they're really marketing it as a, the developer's laptop, which is very interesting. Mm -hmm. I think, um, yeah, I, 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 I mean, I think I increasingly see pe developers using Linux Linux laptops more than I mean. We all know how how uh, how many developers are actually just using Macs, right? I mean, <laughs> we know that. Yeah. But uh, yeah. but I think I see more and more uh, Linux laptops, which is interesting. Or I, I I did back when I left my house um, in the before time. <laughs> and I, I personally know of people I communicate with on, you know, through via the wonderful mm -hmm. internet um, that are using Linux laptops. So interesting. We may soon enter the, instead of the year of the Linux laptop, the millennium of the Linux laptop when it finally happens. There's I thought no, Chromebooks the were genie, do it. The genie will not go back in the bottle. It'll be over. And then, you yeah. know, but we're I mean, Chromebooks waiting. Are, I think Chromebooks it becomes less and less relevant. Chromebooks are, are all over the place. They're in schools everywhere. I think they're still the perfect idea for an educational environment because it doesn't tie a person or an account to a device. You know, they're just a, they're just a way to get to an account. So, I mean, that's for education, especially like high school, middle school, elementary. That's a, a nice feature where if they drop it, they can get another one and all their stuff is right there. So. I set a uh, an elderly lady up the other day, one of my customers, with a not a Chrome book, but a Chrome box to replace an ah, old yeah. Windows Seven desktop, and uh, it, so far that's worked out pretty well. So more than just education, I, I have to worry though that uh, Chrome OS will kind of have a, leave a bad taste in people's mouth because they remember it from their bad old school days. <laughs> it could be. Oh yeah, it could yeah. Be, if your school experience Which, is awful, yeah. this may, you know, yeah, exactly. Especially because yeah. a lot of them are on such horrible hardware, right? That the experience yes. wasn't even because of Chrome OS. It was because it was, you know, a seller run from 1997 or something, <laughs> basically in the, mm. in the, yes. but, you know, this episode is brought to you by uh, 
Sharkleberry Finn. Do you wonder what the 90s smelled like? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>